Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to uh, create a AWS Glue crawler and then how to uh, run that crawler and then view the metadata and the data on the file. So let's start. I've got a CSV file here with me which is the Titanic dataset and you can see it's got passenger ID, survived, passenger class, etc. So what I've done is I've already uploaded this file into my S3 bucket called Glue Workshop. So let's just quickly go there. So I've uploaded it in this workshop in the crawler demo and then in the CSV file. So I've uploaded this file here and we'll uh, run a, we'll create a crawler uh, which will uh, go through this file and then create the metadata and then we will be able to query that data using Athena. So let's start. So let's quickly go to um, AWS Glue. So we'll go to crawlers and we'll just click on add crawler. So this is specifically through the console and we'll just call this, uh, maybe we'll call it AWS console. Crawler demo. And we'll just click next and we'll, the source type will say data store and uh, we'll uh, select uh, crawl all folders and in the next step we'll define the location which we want to crawl so we let me specify so in the crawl data and specified uh, sorry specified path in my account not in another account and then I'll just click on this uh, path so I click browse and here we'll glue, uh, go to that workshop uh, so glue workshop and uh, the crawler demo and uh, like we uh, had a look We'll go into the CSV. So we'll just select the CSV folder, not the file. So all the files in this folder will then get crawled. So we'll just say this. So we provided the folder path and then we'll just click next. And we will not add another data store for now. We'll just hit next. And we already, I already have a IAM role defined. So glue can uh, have a read permission on the S3 bucket. Uh, so let's just choose an existing role. So I'll select that. And so it's very important that you have the right roles in place. Otherwise, Glue will not be able to read that data and the crawlers won't work. So it's important that you have you create an IAM role with permissions to read data from in the S3 bucket. Uh, let's just go and click next here. And it's run on demand. So I'm not creating any schedule at the moment, but you can have options here. So you can run on demand or you can uh, say hourly daily and then you can choose the days as well. So I'll just hit next for now and It says choose a database. So I don't have a database created at the moment. So I'll just say add database and I'll call it um, maybe console demo DB and I'll just hit create and I'm not doing anything else. Oh, I can uh, specify a table prefix. So maybe I can say console underscore maybe and uh, I'll just click next I'm not changing anything else and then I'll just say finish so we have the crawler created now we need to run this crawler so for now there is no uh, metadata created and no tables created there is no data database created as well so it's, it's sorry it's created the demo DB because we specified it but we don't have any tables because for now the crawler has not run and since the crawler has not run it has not uh, created the metadata and for the tables let me just run the crawler now this is the crawler we created just now so we'll uh, wait for this to finish running and you can see that it's now running so the crawler is starting for now and the crawler has run so it's stopping now so we'll wait for the crawler to stop. So while it's stopping, we'll just go to the tables here. And you can see it's created this uh, table called cons console Titanic CSV. So if I select this one and click on it, you can see that it has uh, created the metadata for the table. So it is saying this is the location where it sits. The classification is CSV. The name is uh, console Titanic and it's uh, added CSV at the end and then it shows us the data type for each of the fields so it uh, automatically uh, goes through the data and identifies the 
data type and that's what it, it uh, sets up here. So now what we can do is let us just go quickly go back to crawlers and it's gone back to the ready state, which means it's finished processing, it stopped. So now we'll go to Athena and query this data. So we'll go to Athena here. And uh, we've got the console uh, demo DB and we've got the console Titanic CSV file. So I'll just click on the three dots here and say preview table. And I'll just go down. And you can see that it has uh, gone through our data with the crawler and then it's defined the metadata and then we are able to query that uh, data or the CSV file using Athena. So in this video, we learned how to create a blue crawler uh, via the AWS console. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.